Well, I have a program called Starry Night Backyard, and that program is just up on my projection screen, and I try to show them, okay, this is the arc that the sun takes, look, it's up at its highest point, look at what time it is, and uh, what's going on with the shadows and the trees and everything, but I'm very limited on that in the classroom because I have to constantly like adjust the angles and adjust the technology to fit the medium that I have in the classroom, which is this flat screen. When they see it on, you know, this big dome with all the directions around them, you know, and they're able to just, I think, collect it in a, in a way that's much more realistic than what I'm able to present to them in the classroom. The visualizations are excellent and as well the, the instructor that you all have is top notch. He's really able, I think, to keep their attention, to give them you know, demonstrations in ways that's actually interesting to them and to get them involved in the process. There's probably some kids who have very inquisitive minds who are very bright, but until they see it in a way that's meaningful to them or interests them, we don't know that, the, that this child has the potential or the want or the desire to be a scientist. So if we're able to get them interested and get them excited about science and see it outside of, of the traditional dimensions of the classroom, just to see it in the way that it's presented on the film, I, ca I can't duplicate that in the classroom. How many, how many different ways your senses are overwhelmed in, in such a, a powerful way really does make an impression on them and on me as their teacher too, because I've never been to the planetarium before. So until you're actually there, you don't know you don't know what you're going to experience or how it's going to lend itself to be useful in the classroom. And now, you know, next year as I'm preparing my lessons, I'll be able to intentionally set some things up so I can tie it in because we're definitely coming.